Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is a gameplay demo for the English Digimon Alpha Evolve card game. I already have a game here set up to showcase what the gameplay is going to look like. Uh, this gameplay has three phases. It has a preparation phase, an evolution phase, as well as a battle phase. But before we get into those phases, let me just showcase what which kind of cards are on the field to show you what kind of, how this game is going to progress. So I have a Virus Busters deck uh, in the white sleeves on this side, and I have a Dragon's Roar deck in the black sleeve in the opposing side. In my Virus Busters deck, I have a Type C uh, Magna Angemon and a Type B Tylinmon. They both have a speed of six. I also have an option card here that gives me one free evolution per turn uh, that it offsets any cost for one evolution for one Digimon. And I have a Mega Killer that allows me to turn my attack into a Type A attack uh, for during one battle. On the Dragon's Roar side, I have a Shine Greymon Type B and a War Greymon Type C. And for the option cards, we have a Mac Booster option card, which gives me a plus two speed for one Digimon for one turn and a Dark Power option card that decreases an opposing Digimon's HP by 200 for one battle as well. So now we are ready to begin the preparation phase. With so the preparation phase, you can discard any cards in your hand, um, you can discard any cards in the field, and draw until there are up to six cards in your hand. So here I already have six cards in my hand set up. Um, and now, now you're done the preparation phase. Um, this next phase is the evolution phase. So you're gonna check if you can evolve any of your Digimon into a higher level. So I have a Shine Greymon that can evolve from a Magna Angemon, which I have on the field. His cost is nine, so you're only able to use 10 cost per round. So I only have one cost point left to use. Uh, but luckily I have this Digisoul charge, which lets me uh, evolve one Digimon for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that for Slapemon and evolve into Slapemon from Tylenmon. After you have finished evolving, um, you're going to take the pre-evolution requirements and put them into the dark area. So Tylenmon's going to the dark area and Magna Angemon is going into the dark area. And with that, we have finished our evolution phase. The Virus Busters deck is now ready to start the battle phase. Okay, now we're ready to do the preparation as well as the evolution phase for the Dragon's Roar deck. So we're going to draw those six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, again, so for the preparation phase, you can discard cards and before you draw and refill your card for, to up to six cards in your hand. And now we're done the uh, preparation phase. Um, so now we're going to go on to the evolution phase. Uh, the evolution phase, I can go ahead and evolve my War Greymon into this Omnimon. Um, but to do so, I need to have a Metal Gurumon in my hand, ready to go into the dark area. So I'm going to put this Omnimon on top of this War Greymon, and discard Metal Gurumon into the dark area. And I also have to put this War Greymon underneath into the dark area as well. And with that, the evolution phase is over for the dark, uh, the Dragon's Roar deck, and we can start the battle phase. Okay, so for the battle phase, um, everybody moves according to speed. So now it looks like these guys both have four speed and these guys both have five. But with the Dragon's Roar deck, they have a mock booster that they can make any one of their Digimon go first. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to this Shine Greymon. So now his speed is six. So he can go first. And this Shine Greymon has three options. It can either pass, it can attack me, or it can attack my Digimon. So I'm gonna go see if I can actually delete any of these Digimon over here. I'm gonna have a Shine Greymon, Shine Greymon battle. So they're both green, so they're both gonna use their green attacks. So it's gonna be 1190 versus 1000. So this Shine Greymon will win, but it won't be able to, it won't be enough to delete this Shine Greymon unless I activate this Dark Power card, which decreases one opposing Digimon's HP by 200. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that, put it into the tap position, and then now this Shine Greymon's HP is 1010. So that's so this Shine Greymon will be able to delete this Shine Greymon and remove it from the game. It doesn't go into the dark area when it's deleted, it just gets removed from the game. Now this Shine Greymon is gonna go into the tapped position, 
Now, both of these Digimon have the same speed. So whoever goes first depends on a game of rock, paper, scissors that is done in the beginning of the game. Um, whoever wins that rock, paper, scissors gets to keep that rule until for the rest of the game. So if whenever his their Digimon have the same speed, that person can always go first. So let's say for the if I say for example that the dragons were tamer, won that rock, paper, scissors. So this Omnimon can go first. Now this Omnimon can either attack this tamer or it can attack their Digimon or it can pass. So let's see what would happen if they were to fight. Royal Knights battle. So this Omnimon is type B, so Slatemon would have to use his 960 damage type B attack. Um, and this Omnimon, sorry, and this Omnimon will have to use his type C 900 damage attack. So this Omnimon would actually lose. Um, so it wouldn't make sense to attack the Slatemon. So instead, this Omnimon will attack this Tamer directly, do 10 damage to their life points. If, so if it was at 60, then now it's at 50. This Omnimon is going to the tapped, to the tapped position as well. So now it's Slatemon's turn. Um, it, it, it won't be able to delete either of these Digimon, so it can only attack the opposing player. And so it'll do, it'll do that. It'll attack the opposing player and do 10 damage. Alright, um, thanks for watching guys. Uh, this is my first gameplay video, so excuse me if this it's not too organized. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to address them. Um, and if there's enough questions and it's not clear enough, then I'll try to upload a new gameplay video that's hopefully clear enough to understand the game. Alright, thanks. Thanks guys.